Um, welcome, everybody. And this is, this is part of our strategic planning process for the North Carolina New Schools Project, is to really bring together the best ideas we can find out there uh, that are going to help us improve education uh, in this state and across the country. And that's what the North Carolina New Schools Project has been about. And it's always interesting to me when I see technology up on a screen, because technology is the stuff that was invented after you were born. For kids, that's not technology, it's just stuff. It's what they're used to, and, and yes, I'm going to tell this story again. So those of you who've been around me a lot are, are going to stick your finger down your throat at this point. Because, um, you know, I can't say that I'm, I'm proud of, too proud of this, but I am. Um, I have a three-and-a-half-year-old daughter, uh, and, and at 20 months old, I gave her her first iPad. Um, and my wife thought that I was completely insane. Um, but that's what this is about. It's, it's, we're, we're changing the way the world needs to look at education in the future. It's going to be about how do we employ technology to, to make it better, how do we get into the virtual world, um, and, and how do we really do it faster, better, smarter, and cheaper? Because we've got to face the realities that are out there in front of us. It's got to be it's got to be faster, it's got to be more effective. We are competing against the world um, for, for the jobs of the future, and it's got to be as efficiently done as we can possibly do it. And there are ways to accomplish that, I think, through the use of technology uh, as a part of all this. So my role here is, is leading the strategic planning process for the New Schools Project, and, and um, and I always say this sort of crazy, replacing Burley Mitchell as the chairman of the North Carolina New Schools Project. Now, if you want a daunting task for your life, just consider the thought, for those of you who are from North Carolina, just consider the thought of trying to replace Burley Mitchell at anything. Uh, it can't be done. This, this guy is an, is an icon in our state. Um, I'm going to do the best I can to carry forward the amazing and great work uh, that he has done. But I just want to welcome you all today, tell you we really want to get your, your thoughts and ideas um, and really want to get out on the edge as, as much as we can today because um, there are no thoughts that are, that are off limits here. We've got to figure this out going forward and we've got to figure out ways to have the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction um, the community college system and the UNC system out there find new ways to work together. My dream is that we can find a way to better coordinate along an entire continuum of education from the time our kids go to school until the time they get into the university system and through that into the workforce so that we can more efficiently and effectively educate our children for the challenges that are before us as we enter the next phase of, of this country. And if we're not careful and if we don't get this, then the next phase of the history of the United States of America is going to be a lot different than the, than the history that we've had in the past, and there's no reason for that to occur. There's enough creativity in this room and in other rooms across the country to make sure that we stay um, in our exalted place as one of the leaders of the world but it's going to be a real challenge for us going forward. But I think we're up to that, we're up to that task. With that, I'd like to bring Tony up. Thank you.